Hello, I'm Tia Christie, and this is Journey to TEDx Wilmington. It has been a fun and fantastic day with like tons of brilliant minds. I love today. It is the longest, wonderfulest day in the whole entire year for me. It really is. I get to meet fabulous people. I get to just hang out and learn new things. And it's all as a gift to you. So you get to watch these and get ideas that are worth spreading and sharing. And we have our headliner here. I call him the headliner because he's the last speaker of the day. So it kind of does make you the headliner. Do you agree, Phil? I guess so, but I yeah. guess, right? Own it. Yeah. All Phil! Right, all right, all right, all right, Yay! all right. <laughs> <laughs> I made him blush. All right, talk to me. How was it? It was cool. It was really cool. It was uh, something that I've been wanting to do for a long, long time. Okay. It's one of the things that I... Uh, thought would uh, come my way eventually, and uh, when Dan uh, asked me, it was, uh, it was just a thrill, I was just excited to do it, and uh, I hope, but more importantly, most importantly, is I hope, because um, nothing else matters, but if I really hope somebody uh, was left with something that helps them or inspires them or, or makes them think or makes them act in some way, if that happens, then I'm happy, if not, I couldn't care less. Yep, it's, it's the whole point, isn't it? Give it as a gift. Hopefully, even just one person yep. gets something from it and uh, it makes it all worth it. Yeah, exactly. So tell us, what would you talk about? Ta uh, what's the title? Uh, the way that I phrased it, uh, the way that I, I think they call it vibrational currency. I wanted to keep the theme around currency, but okay. to me, currency can mean so much. It's the currency of success, currency of money, currency of, 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 of love, currency of uh, mm -hmm. all those things. and. At its core, the pursuit of just currency money can lead you down the wrong path. And I hope that there's a way we can redefine that or even think of it a little differently where you can build currency around a currency of kindness, right. uh, compassion, working together, collaboration versus just uh, stepping all over each other. Uh, that's sort of what I think. But yeah. what, I, what I talked about was really the uh, finding your why and the language of money. So that was it in a nutshell. I love it. I told you he was smart. I told you. All right. Very good. Very good. All right. So um, when did you come on to the lineup? I think when he started, he asked me a few months ago. I okay. Yes. So you were, you were kind of like in the know, like right yeah, away. Yeah, yeah. All right. And the reason I ask it like that is because I just told Phil, every email I sent him got bounced back to me. I mean, there was a there was a letter missing. It was dot co, dot co not dot com. Some people I, make that mistake. It was not my mistake. <laughs> All I knew is I was given this email address and I kept responding. And it was it was honestly I felt like I felt hurt. I was no, a sad. it's just a, see see that's again. I don't know this person. No. <laughs> <laughs> but see, that's the thing with communication. Even a lot of times we think there's a one reason for something when it really. Truly, sometimes it's really just a simple misunderstanding. It was an, it yeah. was a dot co, a modern domain versus the traditional one, this dot com. Yes. So. And don't worry, I wasn't hurt or upset or anything like that. I was <laughs> no, actually. I'm sorry. I, I'm no, sorry no, no, even don't even apologize. I felt bad because I was like, I wanted to help you. Yes, you know, yes, if you yes, needed yes. help with anything. Yes, yes. But I figure if you need to help, you would have tracked me down. Right. Right. You wouldn't. No, I mean, at the end of the day, one one thing that I've learned when I do speaking and things of that nature is. I try not to be too rigid or too rehearsed because people can people can sense that. Yes. Uh, I just want to go in there, have an outline of what I want to talk about and, and what I want to get across, and then you're gonna get me as authentically as you can. Mm -hmm. And if I mess up here and there, that's okay. I don't need to hide that. Right. And you see, you see me with all my imperfections. That's completely fine. That's the way to do it. It's yeah. a conversation. That's what it is. It's a yes. one-sided conversation, but yeah. it's a conversation. Yeah. A soliloquy and, of sorts. Yes. <laughs> Again, he's showing off that smartness. I love it. All right, so um, all the work, all the practice, you get up there, were you nervous? Um, I think you have jitters. Usually you should before you go on stage well, like think, that. Yeah, I think you do. But, but as you if you do enough times, you, you understand the channel that. In a, in a, so I wasn't particularly nervous. I wasn't super nervous. It was just more so... Uh, I wanted to make sure that people got something from it because they could choose to be anywhere in the world, do whatever they want, they could be at home, be whatever they want to do, but they chose to be here. So I want to make sure it's worth their while. And there was a lot of light there, so I couldn't see. Usually I can see in the crowd. Uh, yeah. So I can see in their eyes with the responses. Right. I can sort of feel if people are 
in tune with what I'm saying or if they're liking it. And I couldn't really see that. So right. I'm still uncertain of how I how we came across. I think it was well received. You think I so? do. I yeah. really do. Okay. Um, I heard a couple people saying he was great. He was great. Great. Oh. Yeah. yeah. So it, and it could have only been you because Trish was right before you. So oh, okay. Yeah. You, know, yeah. <laughs> you were the one that they were talking about. Um, no, this is awesome. So all the work, everything that you've done. Yeah, yeah. Um, and obviously it's a different stage than any other stage you've been on. I mean, TEDx definitely holds, you know, it, its own kind of clout and, you know, so there, and there's all those guidelines that you got to follow. So, I mean, it is different than any other stage probably that you've been on. I mean, I, that's how I, I look at it and I've been on a lot of stages, but, um, was it all worth it? Everything that you Of did. course. I mean, uh. So one of the reasons why I, that didn't really hit me till I was there because I started overthinking those things. You get that's when you really get nervous. I'll give you an True. example. I had a neck surgery a few years ago, and the doctor's breaking down. I'm gonna cut into my neck and all this stuff. It's like I don't even want to know. Right. Let me get scared by the time I'm about to pass out. So once I see the severity of it, I'm already unconscious. Yes. So I said, you know what? I'm not gonna overthink that. It's gonna be uh, at the end of the day. Every experience is human to human, mm -hmm. and. Uh, if I can go there, because even it turns out I suck and I don't want to use it. Who cares? As long as, as long as I can reach one person there and that can spread, yeah. that's 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 what really matters. Yeah. So I wasn't too nervous but when I saw it. I was like, it's a big deal for sure. Yeah. I'm very, I'm very. It's something that has been on my to do list for seven, eight years. Okay. So I'm All happy. Right. I'm happy. So uh, you weren't together. you weren't ignorant of the fact that it was a big deal, but you'll worry about the levity of it tomorrow. After everything's all said and done. Yeah, perhaps so. Perhaps so. Yeah. Perhaps like so. all of a sudden it'll start to flood in. You'll be like, oh my god. One of the thing is, I, I'm not. I'm really not too concerned with what people think or like vanity reasons. It's just right. that, that is Dan happy about what I contributed to it? Is he happy with my uh, presentation? Mm -hmm. Are the people happy with it? And right. ultimately, uh, if the people receive it well later, that's that's just. Uh, that's just, I guess, um, great, all gravy, you know? Yeah, Cherry yeah, on top. for sure, for sure. And, um, no, I get what you're saying. It's not, it's not, um, it's not that any reason. You're giving a gift and you want to make sure it's well I hope received. so, I hope Like, so. you know, if, if all of a sudden, like, I, I handed you, you know, I don't know, like a, a pink poodle and <laughs> you'd just be like, I'm allergic to dogs, you right, know, like that. Right. And my favorite color is blue. Like that would, it wouldn't be well received. So I would be worried, you know, what does he think? Right. So I get it. I get it. You gave a gift today and you hope it was well received. I hope so. I hope so. I'll try, uh, I'll try to. In my mind, there's no doubt. I didn't see it yet. I can't wait to see it, but super excited <laughs> to see it. All right. So uh, do you have any, um, speaking of co, not com, mm -hmm. do you have any uh, stuff you want to share? Like how people can get a, get a hold of you or... Anything like that, you know? Anything sure. you want to plug? I mean, a bit plug, okay. So, I can tell you in a nutshell what we do. Nice is my company. Our mission is to create 100,000 millionaires from underserved communities by 2030. How do we do that? We make uh, ownership of assets accessible to people in $100 pieces. In layman's terms, basically, you have buildings and people can co-own them with $100. So, that's what I build an app to do. I happen to have... Uh, I'm the developer and the owner of the real estate that people then can own a piece of along with me. But I did all that to sort of just uh, give people access to ownership. And I far more to lose than anybody else. So you go, you know when somebody comes with, hey, I got this great idea. Uh, you just got to put in 100. How much did you put in? And they go, oh, nothing yet. And you go, then it's not a good idea. Well, I have everything in. So I just said, just come along for the ride. At the very least, you'll see how it goes, how it works. And you build a whole community around that. It grew to the online community. two and a half million people now. And um, so what's most important is that, you know, uh, I like us to be, I didn't say that down there, but I like us to be sort of like the gateway drug to wealth, if you will, to use that phrase, <laughs> because $100 is not going to make you a millionaire. But what right. $100 does is it makes that very critical, crucial, it triggers that crucial paradigm shift from consumer and basically the cattle that gets milked to an owner. And I'll become the farm, right? So you're in the ownership side, and I tell people, there is nothing that separates you from, pick any big real estate mogul. There's nothing that separates you from them other than time, and they've had more time to accumulate a larger portion of real estate that they own, but you're an owner all the same. Right. And then it's just up to you what you do from here. And you build a whole community, we have two apps. One that, you know, there's uh, mentors that help people mm -hmm. get started, there's an academy, and then more importantly, we provide funding 
through the whole the whole avenue. If you have a property, our community can invest in with you, and people share in the profits. So uh, it's a form of uh, providing microfunding to our community mm -hmm. to get down payments, and then go home properties funding for businesses, okay. not not flashy businesses. Oh, I want to build the next app for, for, for aliens on Mars. No, not right. that. It's boring business. I want to have a laundromat. Okay, cool. How much does it cost to start? People can own a laundromat together on this street. And then there's all of my app. People can buy it. And there's a whole community. I just really just um, want to provide the access and, and, and the opportunities to those who have really been overlooked because it's not as lucrative right. for people to target them in that yeah. way. And I sort of want to be that. Badge is naive, but it's what we do. So, uh, yeah. That's in a nutshell. Yeah. But a way they can it. find me, they can just like fill a Michael on the platform. Like, you can find me on Facebook, you can find me on Twitter, Instagram, everywhere. And our website is nice.co. NYC.co. Nah. Nice. CO after that, not com. CO. CO. <laughs> CO. Yes. yes. And, uh, that's it in a nutshell. So, I love but, it. and then, of course, there's also. Yeah, we have uh, we have these free academies. I call it Five Minute Millionaire Breakdowns. So people learn how they can build build wealth from the stock market automatically. It's mm -hmm. Free lessons. Just go check it out. In real estate, how you can do that. It's really a simple formula. The only thing is, it takes time, and people usually don't want to. Gotta you know, invest the time, people. That's right. And there's one thing. And this is one uh, phrase. I, it's from one of my favorite books. It says the difference between the uh, the the the. Um, Low class, the middle class, and the wealthy is simple. Low, uh, low class think day to day with their money, with their life, right. and everything. The middle class think month to month. And middle class can really mean if, if you have a married couple that's an attorney and, and a doctor, but if, if their bills are such that if they both lose, lose their job in three months, they'll be bankrupt. That means you really, you're living month to month. Right. Paycheck to paycheck, essentially. And then you have the wealthy that plan decade to decade. Right. Once you plan decade to decade, that's when all the fun happens. So that's what I try to get people just. Once you become an owner, now think like this, and then everything right. happens. So that's it. I love it. I love it, Phil. You and I, we're gonna get the right connection on the right connection with the right email. With the right else. email, <laughs> and we're we're gonna set up time to talk because I love it. I love it. Thank and, you. Uh, the name of the company is just awesome because I'm nice and I love people that are and nice. So. That's exactly it, and it's nice with a why. That's my yes. that speech. What's your why? So that's why it is. A little tricky. Oh, a little he's crying, clever. A little, a little he's clever, smart you know? and clever. <laughs> All right, sir. Thank you so much for being here today. Thank and uh, like I said, he's the headliner because we're out of here. <laughs> uh, this has been Journey to TEDx Wilmington. Another wonderful and successful year. Thank you so much. I just want to thank everybody that has been involved. You know, Dr. Dan, um, you're amazing. Thank you for all you do. Also, the, the volunteers, the team, SD, who's been with me all day, thank you so much. All the speakers, um, Ori for the amazing painting, Art by Ori, I mean, it's just unreal and uh, it's been making me happy seeing that all day long, oh, so great. thank you. Um, and then we had the Beauty Bar by Christina Ruggiero, uh, who did hair and makeup for our speakers today. Wonderful job, absolutely fabulous. All right, so until next year, this is Journey to TEDx Wilmington, and uh, I hope you watch all the speakers do their thing. See you again. Say bye, Phil. Bye-bye.